Hello folks and welcome back to Light Source Engraving. My name is Patrick, your host as usual. And if it's your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by. I do appreciate it. Now today, I want to show you a new take on white tiles. I call this Patrick's Tile Method. Not to be confused with Norton's white tile method. That is his. This is something that I had thought of when I was running some class and it turns out it worked great. And then I did a second try with the second technique, similar technique, but different uh, material and it worked great as well. So what I first wanna show you is this new collection of scenes that I have. They're all Christmas scenes and they're available on my website. I'm sorry, these are for sale. I spent a lot of time getting these perfected. I wouldn't say perfect, but getting them to look the way I want them to. And they're available for sale on my website. The link will be in the description. So what we're gonna do is take the UV's laser and quote, unquote, mark these white tiles. Once you mark them, we really won't be able to see anything unless you hold it at the right angle and then you can see that there is a mark on the surface of these tiles. And just be patient. I'll show you exactly where I'm going with this. But first, let's jump into Lightburn and I will show you the graphics that I have prepared that are available on my website. And if you're nice, I might give you one for free. So hit that like, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. You do that, you can have one for free. Link will be in the description. 5 watt UV laser owners, I'm giving you my settings as well. I'm giving you a setting that I haven't saw used with UV lasers before. And I just wanted to experiment and try something out. And this works really well. So let's just jump into Lightburn. So here is the first design that I have, and this is a nice snow globe scene. And then I'll show you the rest of it. We have a fireplace, Christmas tree, snowman, candy canes, skating, sleigh ride, gingerbread house, tree and fireplace, and nativity. So all these will come in the pack that's on my website you're gonna get this snow globe for free. So you will just be able to go to my website and download this at no cost. And then if you like it, you can pick up the other pack and help support the channel. That would be amazing. So let's just jump into the settings first. I have a setting that's called ceramic white remove glaze. Let me assign this and we'll take a look at it. Speed of 500, frequency of 20, Q pulse of one, Line interval is 0 0.015, a bi-directional fill. And we're running one pass, and we're using flood fill on this. You have to use flood fill to get this to turn out right. We gotta use flood fill. And once we run this, I will show you the te technique that I use to obtain this result. Camera's washing it, or the lights are washing it out a little bit. And this result. And let me show you the snow globe. And this result. All right, so let's get it framed up and we'll get to burning. For this burn, you will need your fume extraction turned on. So pardon the noise at the moment. I have fume extraction and the laser on. We're gonna frame it up. Now you're not gonna be able to see too much, so I'm gonna try not to bore you with this burn, but here we go. Okay, 
Okay, this one's done. And you can barely see right there in that light that it is engraved. So if you hold it at the right angle, you can see the engraving. Now I'm going to work on the Christmas place, Christmas tree fireplace scene on this blank tile. And then we will work on them and make them look beautiful once that's finished. Okay, folks, we have our first tile here. This is the fireplace scene. So you can see that in the reflection. There's the tree. Then we go over and there's the fireplace. For today, we'll be using the simplest of the techniques, dye. So this is Folk Art brand dye. It is a water-based dye. And you could get a dye like Rit or any other dye. And what we're going to do is just, uh, I'm just going to pour a little bit right on the tile, if I can just get a little bit. And that's plenty. Take a paper towel and just rub that dye all around, taking care not to get it over the edges. So the key is as you're moving this around to let it soak in where the UV laser has etched the glaze off of the tile. That exposes the porous ceramic underneath, which readily soaks up the dye. Then all we have to do is take our paper towel and wipe the excess dye off of the tile. So there's the paper towel with the dye on it. Here's a relatively clean paper towel. Wipe the dye off. And just like that, you have a beautiful tile ready to go. Then clear coat it with your choice of clear coat. I like Rust-Oleum Triple Thick. I'll leave a link to that in the description. But that's it. These are Sharpie paint markers. They're acrylic paint. That means they're easy to work with, especially being water soluble. Now what I'm gonna do is collar in this globe ornament, which you can see, that's the globe ornament. I'm gonna start with green. And what I wanna do is just draw around these trees. I like to just get the outline of whatever shape I'm trying to color in first. And then just gently fill it in. And that's all it takes. Same thing with this. Just have to hold it at an angle so you can see it. Now, I was never good at coloring in the line, so this is not my strong suit. I hate painting. This reminds me of painting. But there's going to be our trees. Well, let's say we're going to go with a blue sky. sky as best I can especially doing this on camera it's a little harder to do That looks good for the blue sky. If 
after some contrast. Yellow doesn't show up very well, but I'm only going to do the house in yellow. So if you had a larger set with larger collar, you could definitely get super creative with this. So there's our house in yellow. We'll do the yard in purple. in red. of this in since we don't have any more to outline now let that dry completely because we don't want the colors to smudge and mix there's the general idea once it's dry paper towel I like to use my thumbnail to give a little bit of extra bite with the paper towel. And I did the green first, so let me just go ahead and wipe away some of this green. Just so you can see. There you can see the shading that it's going to take on. Now it looks like it's already starting to dry. There's a little bit of wet right there in the blue. Let me go ahead and hit this yellow. There, now you can see the house coming in red. Those colors aren't going to run or bleed. Just takes a little bit of elbow grease. And I try as much as possible to stick with the same collar before I move on to a different one. Within reason. Now let's get the blue. And there we have a multicolor snow globe. Which I think looks pretty good. And those are the two techniques that I use to make these collar tiles. All right, and here's a view on the main camera of our snow globe. There we go. Bring up the Christmas tree. Do a snow globe and Christmas tree. Once those are fully dry, clear coat and boom. Instant little Christmas gift. Now, as a bonus, I want to show you one other item that I'm going to give you for free in the download with that one file. So if you are using these on ceramic tiles or something small or even slate, I have a display stand for you. So you can print it out and use this to display your tiles. And this is what it looks like. It's just a little stand that you can plop your tile down in and it will hold it and display it. So a handy little item for displaying these cute little decorated tiles.
but I'll include the link to that with the download of the one free scene. And that is all I have for today, folks. Thank you, channel members and patrons, for your support. I greatly appreciate it. Don't forget that thumbs up button, please. It helps the algorithm and helps the channel and ultimately helps me. So thank you very much. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If you have ideas for future videos, please leave a comment down below as well. And as usual, have a great day, and I will see you in the next one.